I think I have to restart my camera at like once every 10 minutes. But that should work. <laughs> Look outside. Somewhere out there, there's an ocean. And that ocean needs your help. And that is why this video is in collaboration with Mr. Beast. More on that later. If this is the first video you're watching today, then first of all, subscribe. But secondly, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about here. I mean, like collabing with Mr. Beast. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, that's not a thing. What the hell is even going on? Ah, but if you have watched some videos today, you've probably seen a lot of videos related to the ocean, or trash shit, you get a point. And this is because Mr. Beast is currently working together with Mark Rober and a bunch of other creators, including me, to raise 30 million dollars to then remove 30 million pounds of trash out of the ocean. And that's where you entered the room. For roughly two months, starting today, you will have a chance to make a dent in what is probably one of the biggest problems humanity has ever faced. And please don't click off, I'm gonna try to not make this sound like a school lecture. By clicking the link in the description you can donate one dollar to remove roughly 0.5 kilos of plastic out of the ocean. That is roughly 0.18 bald eagles or a very very small part of a kangaroo or one pound if you speak in feet. And here's the best part, it's not even limited to one dollar per person. Why would you spend just your hard-earned real-life coins on getting plastic out of the ocean? You know, if the turtles eat it, or they like it, that, that's how it works, in it? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. Why would someone just go through so much effort to get a bunch of plastic out of an ocean of an entire planet without a reason? You know, that, that reason being... Being... Why am I here? All right, I'm no expert, but this is roughly how it works. I'm gonna assume that most of you know what a food chain is. It is, well, a chain, with every separate link being an animal or a species on Earth. And every link of the chain is dependent on the other, and this is why. For example, sharks are underwater predators, meaning they will eat fish to survive, and you know, have something to eat to survive. You, you get the point. But if those fish die from eating things like plastic and pollution from the ocean, those sharks will then not have anything to eat if not evolution kicks in, which it, it's likely not to, <laughs> and they will die of starvation. And that's how everything works in nature. One animal is dependent on another animal to live so they can kill them, which sounds dumb, but that's how it works. But then if all the underwater life dies out because we didn't clean the oceans from plastic and pollution, then we will slowly but surely also die because all of the species on the planet are also dependent on underwater life. Some less dependent than others, but all links of the imaginary chain that we've come up with. And so if we don't do anything about this, we will just die. This is the apocalypse, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Now, if you are against the death of humanity, uh, there is a link in the description which leads to the Team C site where you can donate to prevent our death. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like and press all the good buttons down in the description and stuff. I really like to start joking about things and making skits and all of that, so if you have any ideas for that, Please be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. And I'll... That, that is frankly the worst outro I've ever made. Why am I doing this? Yeah, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not completely sure actually. I really hope this turned out well. Please.